And with that breaking news, the fire burns through a church in Montclair, New Jersey. Flames broke out just before 8 this morning inside Grace Presbyterian Church on Grove Street. The heavy flames and smoke pouring out of the sanctuary. Several firefighters even suffering some minor injuries. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates live at the scene with the breaking details. Tony. Well, David and Sandra, uh, a men's fellowship breakfast that was scheduled for this morning had already be been uh, canceled, so there was no one in the church at the time of the fire. Now, investigators are here on the scene. They are on standby, waiting for it, it to be safe to go into uh, the church to try to figure out what caused this fire. How I feel, I want to vomit and I want to cry. It's devastating. Pastor Curris says she was receiving a flurry of texts and phone calls as word spread that Grace Presbyterian Church was on fire. Well, I was hoping it was just like a little, little thing, like, you know, in, in, that they caught early. Um, and then I got a phone call from an area pastor telling me it was bad. The fire chief says a passerby called in the 911 just before 8 this morning. The fire going to three alarms. No one was inside at the time. The fire started in the basement and spread to the first floor. Flames getting so intense, firefighters had to be pulled back. Well, church fires are very difficult just because of the nature of what you've said, the age, the size of the wood structures, the members, uh, the air, uh, you know, that's inside a big space like that does contribute. And there are a lot of voids that uh, you're dealing with in types of uh, buildings as this. Churches present a lot of different issues. The roof did collapse. Uh, there, there's major damage to the you know, roof members, the structural members. The inside devastated by flames and the work to get the fire out. This was the sanctuary of Grace Presbyterian before. Members showing up heartbroken to see the damage. All right, and people are already like, well, we could worship here, we could worship there. They're coming up with solutions. You know, it's good folks, faithful folks that, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out one day at a time. And you can see inside uh, several streams of water going right now as firefighters are still inside the sanctuary area uh, trying to douse those hot spots. A lot of very old wood uh, in this church. It's more than 100 years old. It just fueled those flames, and so they have a lot of work to do. Pastors uh, from several Presbyterian churches were here to offer comfort and support to some of the members who were showing up here. And, of course, once they can get those hot spots doused, the investigators will go in and try to figure out uh, what started this fire. You did mention, uh, David, that two firefighters were injured. We're told they were minor injuries, and they will be okay.